Hey what's up guys my name is Charlie today we're going to be doing some more requested reaction videos and this video was requested by your favorite Canadian YouTuber and it's going to be Spyro Enter the Dragonfly by the Lonely Goomba and he said loony there <laughs> um but uh yeah I believe I've actually played Spyro Enter the Dragonfly oh god I think that was for the GameCube I remember playing uh the PlayStation 1 uh Spyro the Dragon and when I got the GameCube, I saw uh, Spyro enter the Dragonfly, and I thought, oh yeah, let's play Spyro again. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful. I'm going to have that childhood experience. Was I fucking wrong? I believe Spyro Enter the Dragonfly was an absolutely god-awful game. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But I thought it was absolutely fucking terrible. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> The lonely Goomba, stuck between two pipes. Well, guess I'll keep on gaming for the rest of my life. <laughs> How does one go from being one of the biggest, most well-known franchises to pretty much dead in the span of two years? It's it a terrible like game. <laughs> that doesn't just happen, does it? It takes something big, yeah. real big. Like the biggest feckin' mistake of your entire life to fuck up that badly. And sure enough, our boy Spyro over here did just that. <laughs> Spyro, <laughs> enter the dragonfly. Yeah, game, Nintendo GameCube. often regarded as the worst Spyro game of all time. And the Thank God I'm not the only one on this. I thought it was just me. I didn't know it was the worst. Some of these reviews. An almost unplayable train Oh, thank God. I didn't know it was one of the worst Nintendo, well, GameCube Spyro games. I didn't know that. Thank God. Thank God it's bad. I thought I was going to be criticizing a wonderful game. But it wasn't wonderful. Eight, <laughs> the eight levels of hell. Seventy percent of the entire fucking game. But hey, now maybe they're the best eight levels you've ever seen in your life. Bullshit. So, uh, let's not be so hasty and let's check out the game, shall we? Oh uh, uh, yes, the title screen. Yeah, it looks pretty good, right? But uh, no. <laughs> hear me out for a moment, because after a few seconds, the game decides to load a gameplay demo. You know how it is. Mm. Show a bit of a game and all that. The problem is, it takes 30 seconds to load. And well, uh, let's just watch the gameplay demo, shall we? Yeah, here we go. Demo mode. Very exciting. <laughs> yep. That was, <laughs> that was it, yep. Yeah. I remember that Five playing over and over every time I was eating. Wrong direction, and then it just ends. I would just let you it load on the loading the screen. Or something. Can I also just say, these are some of the most ugly save file icons I think I've ever seen in my hmm. life. Can't what remember heck, most of these. Uh, I know I ain't the most handsome chap out there, but dear lord. Donkey you know, Kong Metal. I'm going to settle for this farmer guy who looks like he's had a stroke. Perfect. So, oh, the game starts with Hunter suffering from PTSD or some shit. Hmm. I have a fucking post-traumatic stress disorder after playing this game. It's probably been there all day. Tone it down a bit, mate. Hmm. <laughs> That's much better. But suddenly, lightning strikes, and Crush, Gorp, and Ripto just kind of waltz out of this portal and mm. ask Spyro to join him. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. He says no, and well, uh, that's that, I guess. It's never mentioned again. I've got to say, yeah, though, go why is it. everything <laughs> so ugly in this game? Spyro looks all right, but... Well, look at Bianca. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure they were trying to make her look sexy. She's blushing. Uh, She's wearing eyes. Shadow. Fucking PlayStation 1 graphics were more fucking superior than this game. <laughs> and that's shocking because the GameCube was fucking amazing with the graphics. Damn, what a babe. And Ripto's animation is a sight to behold. Why even bother lip syncing when you can just stretch out? Nah, as fuck as lip syncing. Who and needs lip syncing? my time animating these videos. This is way easier to do. We also decided to ruin Gorp from Spyro 2 by making him talk like a complete hmm. moron. He's gone from this big, unpredictable monster to this. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do we want this time, <laughs> boss? The fuck? I gotta say, it's pretty impressive how they can completely ruin a character mm. in just one line. It usually yeah, takes at least damn. twice that. But what's Ripto's plan this time? He seems to be doing pretty dapper considering the last <laughs> time we saw him. He was slowly being burnt to death. Mm. And this, kids, is why when your mum tells you to wear sun lotion, you better listen. Well, anyways, 
His plan is to capture all the dragonflies. But it goes wrong. And they oh, all boy. scatter all over the place, including our good friend Sparks. Then Bipto sort of just uh, scurries off back into the portal. Yeah. Wait, you had like five years to come up with a new plan. And <laughs> Who needs right a on. story? So <laughs> Who needs but good graphics? Anyway, it's gonna be hard Who to needs find lip sync oh, in the video oh, game? Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, it's it's all around. irrelevant well, because it's Spyro. Yeah, I guess he's trying to explain what happened. <laughs> That's what they were probably thinking. Reason, Who gives a shit because a people are suckers. No subtitles. So uh, instead of proper dialogue, we get this. Oh, this brings me back. Was that really necessary? Mm. Also, what no. the fuck is with this music that plays for like five seconds and then just jungly cuts off? Even Sparks is gone! Spyro, hunt him. Don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. <laughs> so random. <laughs> you can't just cut someone off like that. Yeah. I don't know who that singer is, but he was robbed of his spotlight and he deserves justice. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, it was let's just... finally play this masterpiece of a game. And by oh, way, boy. I'm going to walk forward a few steps till Bianca shows up and tells us about this dragon rune thingy, my bob. Here, take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. Just listen to that. I, I remember falling through the map on this game. Really I remember, I'm pretty sure I was voice, also jumping and, and fell through and we'll the ground. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Tap your L button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. I believe this game I mean, is full on, packed with glitches. You can't change someone's voice halfway through a conversation and expect nobody to hmm. notice. You know, uh, this is the first and last time Bianca shows up in the actual game, you know. Although, if yeah. you exit a stage, you might see her for a split second. Wanna see if you can spot her? Well, uh, here we go! <laughs> Learning did you see her? Well, if you did, make sure you leave a <laughs> comment below and smash that like button. <laughs> did I, uh, did I do it right this time? Anyways, uh, now we finally get to play this game. For reals this time. Well, uh, for another few seconds, because this bugger stops us and gives us bubble breath. And then a few oh, more boy. steps later, Spark stops us and tells us about gems. And then sheep. And then how to safely perform autoerotic asphyxiation. And then how oh, to break these baskets. Boy. There's handholding. My childhood. My sweet, sweet childhood. Gone down the drain. Didn't need an essay sparks. Just gotta walk through it to activate it, and that's it. Well, when it actually decides to work, because Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation One, you know, classic. It's just absolutely amazing. It's a classic. That's why it's called the PlayStation Classic. You jump so high, he literally never comes back. Yep, uh, he's gone all right. So he's when gone. I bought this, I, to go now. My I thought I was going to experience the same stuff. But right, let's get to the first level, shall we? The Dragonfly Dojo. You enter this level by stepping on this magic stone while Spyro clips through the floor and barely follows it correctly. <laughs> Sometimes it just misses the platform entirely. <laughs> yeah, this Let's game's just full of glitches. Today. Don't blame you, mate. So, the level, and I know it's hard to see on the YouTube videos, but the frame rate sucks. I'm not uh, gonna keep bringing it up, but it's fucking shit. Sometimes you uh, breathe fire and it'll slow down to like 15 frames per second. Yeah. Too many sparkly things. I thought that was They're my GameCube crib breaking. Thank God it's actually the game. That makes sense. I thought that was actually my GameCube wearing out. Because I was playing demanding games like Resident Evil Zero, and the graphics were just fucking amazing. I thought it was breaking my console. Sometimes it's a bleeding 25. Make up your goddamn mind. I don't have time for your indecisiveness. And after a short while, we run into our old friend's money bags, who, like usual, ask for gems so we can progress through the level. Mm. Problem is, this is the only time he shows up in the entire game. You pay him a pitiful amount of gems, he raises the bridge, and he never shows up again. Effectively, Yay. any gems from this point onwards completely pointless. What? The game also introduces us to these challenges. I never knew that. Which look very similar to the gates, which also exit the levels. Seriously now, what part of this conveys this is a challenge? I played the game. I never said I complete the, the fucking game. <laughs> no fucking way did I complete this game. I only played it for a, like a day and gave up. Yeah. 
You know who yeah. you are. So I. Uh, the first challenge is a speedway. Rings. Super original games and, uh, oh fuck, rings. <laughs> what is this what fucking super bad sixty four? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, I a yeah, I was correct. I did fall through the floor. I remember. To be fire for a brief moment, and the enemies just sort of uh, vanish out of existence. Just have a look. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's what happens when you headbutt someone in the crotch. <laughs> uh, right, I told you. The second challenge. You know, they sort of vanish from the fabric complete. of time and space because it's so fucking painful. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. One minute, you got some dragon meditating. The next minute, you got this. <laughs> Spyro tank. Though, but uh, what can you expect from a game in which the sky will sometimes just disappear? Upon complete of a level, Dragons driving lightning, tanks. Just think about that for a second. Because it uh, has a lightning symbol on it. Although being Spyro enter the dragonfly, you can mm. just glitch through this gate if you don't really feel like doing that. I <laughs> oh guess programming a solid wall was a little bit too much effort. And look, there's another one of those challenge gates here, and of course Sparks explains it again. And when I finally start the challenge, Sparks fucking stops me to explain how to climb. Mm. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? I can't time remember time what part of the game I was, what stage, but I, I remember there was like a racing Thanks thing going on. I don't know, maybe it was... Until this point, we're introduced to possibly the worst representation I had to of run a with a time limit, I can't remember. His features somewhat resemble a human, he talks a bit like a human, but I don't care what it's supposed to be, but inhuman. I mean, yeah. just look at that weird line going down the middle of his face. It freaks me out, man. Well, you're so, trying to make a logic with a dragon a just previously a driving a tank, so you can't yes, really make logic with this game. We're also introduced two phases. So, of course, Sparks explains them too. These phases can only be destroyed by charging into them. Only like most things in this game, it doesn't work quite right. Half the time, the correct sound effect won't even play. <laughs> I always remembered a, a control either. drift Happens with uh, the, the GameCube. It's like there's like a drift problem for me. It doesn't, it's like a delay you response. Or smashing bays in the background for no reason. And if you do decide to use fire on them, the game just slows down to a crawl and you sort of just clip through them all glitchy. Basically, they fucked up literally everything about <laughs> these vases. They do look pretty nice though, right? Don't yeah, they? they're pretty shiny. They did a good job there. Yeah. You know, you probably noticed by now, but these levels are huge and empty. It just scatters oh, gems all over the place, so you spend forever going back and forth. Yeah, I was out. just wandering Tyler around for hours. With the same old bars, I, the I was just don't again. know what the hell I was doing. These dragonflies really boring. But you know, Bianca said these dragonflies were shy and would try to run away, but it don't sound like that to me. The little bastard's taunting me. <laughs> Fine then, I'll just leave you to <laughs> die then, shall I? Also, uh, Spyro forgot how to walk again. It's fucking and the fairy from Link. Was lazy. Or Jeez. Zelda. Even the cameraman's had enough of his shit. So, uh, eventually we get to the end of the level and rescue the cows by lighting this box of explosives right next to them, causing them to explode hmm. and the doors swing open and then just uh, vanish hmm. for no reason. And then the cows <laughs> defy gravity and start <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Down. That's fucked up. What, a way to what the fuck? The level. Those the are some space cows. <laughs> They're fucking what? exploring it space, like boldly going, going where no cow has gone before. Too. Only this time, uh, this tends to happen. Yeah, but uh, that ain't the only thing we took from Spyro 2. Aha! Did you hear that? It's the unmistakable sound of the Professor, a much beloved Spyro character. Aha! Aha! Well, uh, that's what <laughs> I thought, but no, it's just this stupid big. They were so lazy, they couldn't even be bothered to record new lines. So one minute, it sounds like a nerdy Professor. Aha! And the next, <laughs> it sounds like this. Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. I mean, come on. <laughs> you can't just change someone's voice halfway through a conversation and expect no one to know it. Yeah, it does do that. That's just... Also that's, us to uh, you can't change platforming. someone's voice halfway I mean, through it. I mean, yeah, mess up platforming. Not even enter the dragonfly can screw this one up. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, that was weird. But maybe it was just a one-off, you know. Uh, let's try again. Oh, well... You did it, Spyro. You somehow managed to fuck up basic platforming. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. You know, uh, something I'm starting to notice is how weird some of these dragonfly names are. You got Krishnamurti, Scuttlebutt, 
Yojimo. Those are some fucking long Tashi names. Station. Oh. Hey, it's Toshi Station. <laughs> I can't even Wait, fucking so pronounce that. This is a Toshi Station for about one single line in Star Wars. But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, oh, Jesus. I don't really get it either. Well, uh, on to the next stage. Cloud Nine, or as I like to call it, copy and paste nine times. I'm telling you, the developers went a bit nuts here. They keep reusing the same small structure over mm. and over. It's mm. downright relentless. Look at this area. I remember this area. Oh god. I remember this area. I remember I this. I think I remember this. I remember this bit. Going, man. It's always the same. They even reuse it in the, the timer. Mm. Speedway challenge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's also a challenge in which you have to gun down flying yep. beds in a World War II Spitfire. I've There's got this far, I believe. This is where I gave up. This is, I believe, where I gave up. That's when I threw in the patrol and said, I've had enough of this game. Not only is the level ridiculously huge, but developers force oh, everyone to gems in ridiculous areas. Now, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> the gems don't even show up to you right in front of them. It has the worst pop-up I've ever seen. Uh, just look here. Do, do you see any gems? Nah, no. of course you don't. But jump off this ledge here, fly all the way around, and whammo! The gems just magically pop oh, in. Pop, from, they no, pop into it. Don't fly right, though, or you'll likely hit an invisible wall and <laughs> die. I mean, come on. Even Spyro 1 got this right. No matter how far away you were, you could yeah, see the gem sparkle. And mm. that was on the PlayStation 1. Well, uh, enough of that. Let's move on. <laughs> I be to the next I'm level. serious. Monkey I believe the PlayStation 1 graphics were far more superior course, than this. The level transition is once again a Compare them, I'm telling you. Great. I mean, this level also brings back it may have been bland, but at least it was fucking blackboards. playable. Yeah, yes. It's good to see you again. And look, another old friend. It's both fun of you from Spyro 3. But uh, from the looks of things, I'd say he's developed a minor crack addiction since then. <laughs> he was pretty cute before, but now, uh, well, uh, let's just say I'm getting farmer deal vibes. That's what really? happens when you do drugs, so kids. <laughs> it changes you. <laughs> Don't judge him. You he spoked a, a few. Guess what they sound like. Spoked a few too much, honey. <laughs> I remember it, okay? Poor thing. Are you ready? Oh, I like oh. But I don't like it that much. Yep, uh, I'm pretty sure he wasn't expecting a World War II British military general. Yeah, they what the hell is he like doing? This. I feel like an ice lolly. Very strange. Oh boy, he's he been doing a lot of ice for sure. Well, in this case, uh, <laughs> Just a yeti by his crunching up that ice and bait. sniffing now, it all up. Challenges in this level in down oh boy, you, you have to be on drugs to play this game. Again, now you might be thinking maybe the yeti's tied into this mission, so it makes a bit of sense. But no. It's a baby dragon this time. A baby dragon mm. is telling you to destroy turret factories with a Spitfire plane. Man, kids really are growing up too fast these days. <laughs> but at this yeah, one, no, we're tell me, man. well past halfway through the game. But that won't stop this uh, random cutscene. Please, no more. In itself is an issue. But the problem is, the cutscene is clearly, and I mean clearly, <laughs> intended to be played at the start of a game. I swear they just sliced off part of the intro and played it randomly after this level mm. to trick people into thinking the game has a story. Ripto mm. basically just explains the premise of the game and then he says he's going to send out his Riptops to stop Spyro. Something that's already happened and didn't need explaining. Crush is talking now too for some reason. I think the dragonflies were <laughs> scattered all over. Not that it matters, because Riptops Why does it look like he has a never show sort up of... in the entire game? Why even have him in the game in the is first place? Is this supposed to be a club or a chicken leg he's holding? I don't trouble. understand. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's all worth it just to see this again. And that guy just looks like he's holding a lollipop. Ah, yes. Classic. Next stage, then, and it's Honey Marsh, a world populated by inbred crocodiles, complete with some lovely sound crackling. Well, that do it oh, yeah, that Although puppy. I've got to say, nice. that this spiral actually stands on the platform this time. Yeah, yeah. Well, close enough. Who knows? Yeah, Maybe fuck it, close enough. Nailing. That's a masterpiece right there. There's also one of those <laughs> in this level. You know the ones. These bastards. Well, oh, I hated those. You still have to chase them down. But, it yeah, was like the same with the Harry Potter. Are slow. I literally wasn't even trying to kill them this time. The same but with the Harry Potter uh, I think sort of racing. this basket over here put up more of a challenge. It refuses to break. It must be surviving on sheer willpower alone. And then for no reason whatsoever, there's just a random exploding base. Mm. 
Good old fashioned Harry Potter. So after all that, this Potter drop games. guy over here wants us to kill these evil bees God, by so swallowing sorry. some rocks and spitting them back at them. Problem what? Is, yeah, it doesn't work that well. After a few. Of course, why not? What? Were you expecting it to work? Were you expecting a wonderful uh, game? Really this is like everything rocks, else has I'm broken. Like Just like shit. Those are not rocks. Mm. <laughs> they're like spiral shit or sure they're, like they're fossil sure. fuel. Yeah. Shit. Really shit. Yeah. He knows it. Too. Yeah. You know that tank returns in this level too. The game only really has seven levels, and you're already recycling content. Mm. And I gotta say, this is some of the worst collision detection I've ever experienced. I'm trying to shoot these bees, but the missiles keep exploding for no reason. It turns <laughs> out they're hitting that flower and exploding. You know. That flower, which is clearly not yeah, even close to hitting, damn. and when you do eventually win, the croc is a condescending ass. You know, oh. for fun, you do know what fun is, don't you, Spiro? <laughs> they well, sure the fucking did it. Yeah, they're and fucking they insulting you now. They know they're fucked up. They know it. This triggers our buddy spark so much that his voice completely changes and he can speak English now. Hi. What the what? hell was that? Hi. What? I mean, come on. You can't just change someone's voice halfway through a conversation and... You know what? Forget it. So what? Uh, upon leaving this level, for no reason whatsoever... Maybe they uh, had to keep replacing the actors, the voice open. actors, because the they, gives you they couldn't afford them, maybe? Or maybe... I, just have to I don't know. Hole in the ground, like I have no axe. idea what There's was no up with that. There's no build-up for this. It, it's just now open, and I can fight the final boss. But there's oh, still okay. two levels That's left. So bizarre, let's but... quickly have a look at those first, shall we? I'm sure Rifto can wait. Right, so the next level <laughs> is Thief's Den. A magical world full of those annoying buggers from the past games. Oh, I guess wow. this is where they all ended up. Oh yeah, this is the only level <laughs> in the entire game you have to use for wing shield. By mm. pressing L and R, you can form a shield and reflect shots back at these buggers. Just like this. Just like this. Uh, just like this. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. This is way more annoying than it should be. I haven't be. gotten this far. Have to do this Thank ten God. Times. Oh, it's fun, ten right? times. Me, it's no, axis, it's man. not fun. They look pretty cool, but dear Lord, they did not program this properly at all. Yeah, this was the not a platformer jumping. If you dive head first into one, you're likely just glitch Terrible and you'll platforming be fine. to jump on But if on you do game. dodge them, you'll probably go careening off to the side, <laughs> despite clearly not hitting them. Yeah. And then there's these magic worldlings. You know the ones. They take you up and away to new areas. Mm, just I love those things. Just enjoy the ride. Only in this game, they've gone rogue too, and they're out to kill you. <laughs> you put all your trust in these things, expecting to be fine, but nope. The bugger sucked me right into a wall and killed me. <laughs> wow. A hard life lesson. Don't trust anyone, especially mm. magic floating whirlwinds. Don't trust anyone. Oh, yeah. I talk to this guy, don't trust Spyro. Stuck in an and don't trust this just fucking game. Into this wall. Some say he's still walking into this wall to this very day. Those people are wrong because I, I clearly finished the game. Hmm. But still. <laughs> and now, for the final level, Jurassic Jungle. A cross between Jurassic Park and the Terminator. It's at this point I notice that Spyro starts repeating dialogue. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. What? I guess after talking Why would you reuse that? All day, I'd start repeating myself too. But that ain't too bad considering sometimes Spyro reads the wrong line entirely. Hey, it's Karen. I what? Think Spyro's just tired you could. Yeah, they weren't even we're fucking paying Barry. attention. We're in the home stretch. Just got this one challenge left to do. A climbing challenge. Only one well, challenge left to do. Climbing, but uh. there's a good chance you'll be floating ten feet in the air. And sometimes Spyro would just not move where you want him to. And sometimes this happens. What? I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. And if you do happen to get hit, well, good luck getting out of this death loop. This tower has no pity, no sympathy. It's just a soulless killing machine. Just like uh, someone else I know. <coughs> Mario. <laughs> <It's f> <coughs> 10,000 Goombas dead. <laughs> Boy, got Mario. Yeah, he does kill again, quite a lot, doesn't he? This terrible challenge. But NPCs Murray does kill a lot of Goombas. Condescending prick again. Uh, just for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spyro? The game developers yes, sure shit didn't. Sake, I know what fun is. And this isn't it. Mm. Nah, fuck you off. So, uh, that's it. That's the entire game, pretty mm. much. Upon getting every single gem. And I think I've gotten through half of it, I believe. Maybe. The true final boss. 
They didn't even I got bother to give him to the, the, the sky side. stage, and that's where I best. gave up. He then says hocus pocus. <laughs> hocus pocus. Hocus pocus disappeared this I horrible shoot. fucking game. Whoosh. We fire a few times. This happens, and then he dies. Lovely. <laughs> But wait, it's not over. He says yeah. hocus pocus again. Hocus pocus. And then gets bigger. He then what? says hocus pocus yet again. Hocus pocus. Just in case you didn't hear it the first three times. Hmm. And left the beat in this form by doing the exact same thing as the first time. It's time for the third and final form. And you guessed it. He says hocus pocus again. Ah, uh, come on. Hocus. And turns into this ungodly beast. Yeah. Although, uh, sometimes it just stands there doing nothing. Really, it's the ultimate plan. Just stand there doing nothing. You can't lose, and eventually Spyro will either give up or starve to death. Yeah, I gotta hand it to Ripto. He really fought this one through. Mm. No weak points, <laughs> no openings. Just stand there. Wow. Genius. Anyways, uh, after attempting again, he actually moves this time, and we beat him. And then he just Finally. sort of stands there doing nothing for an extended period of time. Mm. You were... Uh, you gonna say something, old chap? That, oh, there we go. Okay. He has a little rant, there we go. jumps in the portal, and that's basically it. Sparks talks again with no surprise. Game over, thank Spyro God. winks at the screen, mm. and then the game ends. And we're greeted uh. with this dragonfly having a seizure as the credits roll. <laughs> but would you have the game end any other way? <laughs> having a seizure? What the ended, fuck is going on? Why is he and having a seizure? Spyro, enter the dragonfly. Is it as bad as some people say? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. It was fucking horrible from my experience. Do yourself a favor. Get through this gate like this. <laughs> swim through this hole till you're out of bounds. Swim through the air and back into the final boss portal <laughs> and finish the game in five minutes. Wow. Well, that's too much trouble. Fuck, I'll do that. <laughs> so I can excuse to say, oh, I complete the game. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, fuck, I'll do that. Jesus. Has become as views step Charles fire into dragonfly was an absolute travesty. <laughs> oh boy. Oh Jesus have mercy. Yeah, th this 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 game, this fucking game, why did they have to make it? It was an unnecessary um, and I thought it was going to be amazing for the, because it was for the GameCube when I played it. But when I played the original one, the PlayStation 1, and I on sort of saw it on the F GameCube, I thought it was going to be amazing. You know, it's nice to read out a nice and easy username this time. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis. More people should have a username like this. Yeah, Usually I agree. Usually like Lewis Dragon Eyes to 837 or some shit. Yeah, oh, I hate when people have long, long usernames like... DJ one four seven X nine seven Alpha Delta <laughs> have a fucking very very long string to the name and they make it as complicated as possible. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, this was totally awesome. I enjoyed watching uh, this video. What could I say? Spyro Enter the Dragonfly was perhaps one of the worst Spyro games I've ever played. I'm glad uh, I'm not the only one. I didn't know it was notorious for being bad. I didn't really do my research on the game. I didn't really go, oh, is anyone else having uh, experiencing how god awful this game is? No, uh, I didn't really have anything like that back in the day with the GameCube. You know, I really couldn't just go online and search the internet. Uh, with a GameCube, um, but um, now today we're going, you know, so I know it's a bad game, thankfully, I know everyone else thinks this is a bad game, but I didn't really do any research, you know, I didn't go, oh, was this game bad, I never really uh, did any research, I just let it die, uh, once I played it, played through the sky level, I, I just got angry, and I just let this game die, I just forgot about it, I just tried to wipe all memory banks off this game and never pretend it existed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a shame because I really enjoyed the original Spyro game for the PlayStation 1 Classic and you know, when when something like this comes out and it's just a mishmash of bullshit, it's very dis disappointing indeed. But I hear um, there's going to be a Spyro sort of trilogy coming out, um, so that's going to be exciting, I believe that's coming out on Steam as well, uh, as well on Nintendo Switch I believe. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's gonna be totally awesome, uh, I've gotta get that, I've gotta get the Spyro Trilogy, uh, you know, you know, that's gonna be totally awesome. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, and make sure to, uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>